Hey, this is Admin from Plex Guide. So a simple video that needs to be done because we kind of got a lot of things caught up is actually how to install Plex. And so this one's going to be for the Plex Remote Edition. So there's some changes that are between both. Just be aware that if you choose the wrong one, just uninstall it and you'll be okay. Or you can re I believe you can rerun it and kind of go through the motions again. You can, you can be the beta tester on that if you choose. But um, the remote edition is specifically for servers or your machines. It doesn't matter who owns it. Is it something that's outside of your network, right? Because if it's outside of your network, you're going to have to claim it. And the claim process is pretty easy to do. So we kind of made that. We made as much as we could for you to make it easy. So I'm going to go ahead and launch PG Box. And then I'm going to type Plex. And then we're going to go ahead and type Deploy. That's all there is to install it. A menu interface should come up and ask if you're going to use public or pass. So, a lot of people, if you have if you have public or if you, if you have a Plex Pass, you can just pick Plex Pass. Just be understand that if your account is not a Plex Pass, it will resort to a public. So don't waste your energy trying to trick anything or try to work around it. So just pick what you got. So I'm just going to do Plex Pass, and then there's this. Um, menu that I told you about. So this is on a network that's outside, uh, you know, of my network here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick remote edition. And then what I need to do is I need to claim my server, right? So at first I thought this was always an annoyance, but I understand why Plex does it. So somebody doesn't hijack all your server, your media files and everything that you own. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my dummy account. Well, not Chad apparently. So I copy that, paste. Come on, come on, come on. Doesn't take too long to do. See all the wonderful things that are happening behind the scenes for you? <laughs> You're not having to even worry about anything. Uh, for some reason, if you don't have web tools installed, it will automatically install it for you. So um, no cron job. And just to let you know, cron jobs or Plex uh, warning, the Plex metadata can get insanely big. Like, if I was to do a backup of mine, it would take like 80 gigs of space, meaning that you need to keep that much disk space freed up or it won't back up. Or the backup is incomplete and it just eats all your disk space. So just be very aware of Plex. Uh, I don't automate Plex backups. The scanning of Plex with Google Drive, not the regular ones, but the Google Drive takes a long time. So if you save one really good backup, and then restore it, it can recover within a matter of hours because you may have new content. It's that initial scan that you should back up, okay? And another thing too is when the program is backing up, guess what it does, it shuts down your container. So Flex could be down for three hours, you know, just doing backups. Okay, so now we are good to go. So per the instructions above, we're gonna go to this location. Right now I have my ports turned off, so normally there would be some port information there. Comes in handy. And that information is wrong. <laughs> looks like I need it looks like I caught something. It's not Plex. Ah. Oh, it looks like we caught a glitch here. Okay. Luckily right now for Plex, I haven't blocked out the ports yet. Go ahead and change this to 32400 and right now there's a like I said I'm working on a fix to get the domain up okay so the key thing is if you enter uh, if you go to your server make sure that you do slash web if you don't you're gonna get a whole bunch of XML garbage okay so you're gonna go ahead and sign in with your account and there you go the wizard pops up. So if this pops up, great. If it doesn't, you could look for your server. If you did not log in with the correct account, which I've done before, or you just done something out of the ordinary, um, this will not come up or you can't claim it. So just make sure you're looking out for this. So you go ahead and name it whatever you want. You see there's that crazy name. So if this web doesn't pop up and you get in, look for some kind of crazy name you don't recognize. So I'm gonna call this beta, beta fish. There we go. And then make sure you select access to uh, outside my home. And then you're going to go ahead and add your lab library. There have some been changes that have been made. So I'm going to update the wiki. But now you have the ability to access your, uh, your system under mount. 
Normally, it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, type what you're doing. What you want to do is use UnionFS. Do not use G Drive or T Drive. You can, um, if you, just for simplicity's sake, just use UnionFS. Uh, if you look on the wiki page, I'll probably have more of an explanation there for you. So if you have Mount UnionFS and then it's going to be like TV, then just do that. You see, so just make sure that it aligns up. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove this for now. But I think you get the idea. And again, it's better to type it in. Um, if you have like, let's say a thousand TV shows, it's going to take forever to load. So as long as you know the path from the top of your head, you're good to go. Um, advanced. I always turn there's certain things that I turn off. Generate, enable thumbnail, enable, you know, video thumbnails because I just eat space. And then include in dashboard. That's up to you and you can figure out how you want to sort it. So I'm going to go ahead and add library. So right now we're not really adding anything, but it's just to kind of give you a walkthrough. Done. And then... There you go, there's your server. So you can access it here. There will later be a fix that you can access it via your subdomain. So <laughs> good catch, right? But I purposely exempted uh, Plexus ports until that's resolved. But that's all there is to the program. So um, yeah, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. If you have any issues, please let us know. Visit our forums, thumbs up, you know, all the good stuff, right? Because it helps us all out. Other than that, I do appreciate your time and we'll make a local edition soon.